welcome back. I uh, got something different here today. So this is our continuation on our, you know, cheap uh, backpacking slash prepping food. Um, found these at the, at the store. I want to say that they were on sale for like a buck a piece. And uh, they say they're completes. <laughs> So these are Hormel products, uh, they say completes, they're microwavable but obviously you could just take the, the uh, bowl here and you know pour it in your camping stove and then just heat it up that way. Uh, or you could eat it fresh, you know, right out of the pack because these would be ready to eat. Um, let's see, I've got uh, the chicken breast and mashed potatoes with gravy, some of the nutritional facts on that. So one serving, uh, 220 calories, so this would be about the same as your typical MRE main dish uh, with about the same amount of sodium in it. <laughs> so uh, not exceptionally good for you, but, uh, you know, again, in a pinch, you never know. Then we have chicken alfredo, 350 calories in this one, so alfredo normally can pack in more calories but generally also more fat too. So, something to watch out for. Uh, spaghetti and meat sauce. 220 calories in this one. And then finally, the beef pot roast. And that's uh, 200 calories. So this is actually the least amount of calories of the four that I chose. Now there are uh, others in this range. These are just the ones I picked for this particular uh, video. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get to taste testing the first one. Alright, so went ahead and went with the spaghetti with meat sauce first. It's interesting because on this channel, spaghetti with meat sauce, anything seems to do pretty well. I don't know why <laughs> that is, but it always does. So we'll, we'll start with the old spaghetti and meat sauce. Alright. So a pretty decent portion there, I would say. And let's get a big old bite and try her out. Hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth. Yep. If I would have taken that entire bite, it would have totally burnt my mouth. <laughs> okay. So first impression, Definitely a sweet sauce. The noodles aren't bad. They're not, you know, mushy. A little bit of meat there. Uh, they could have laid off the sugar. I'm not a huge fan of sweet, sweet uh, spaghetti sauce, or sweet tomato sauces in general. But it's not bad, you know, carbo load. Not a ton of meat, really. I know the protein content was pretty decent here, but like, there's a piece. But not a whole ton, just, you know, in the actual dish. So, yeah, this one not bad. Cut down on the sugar, though. We don't need sweet, sweet sauce. So, all right, on to the next. All right, so next up we have our chicken Alfredo. Now, I'm a big Alfredo fan, but it's really easy to have terrible Alfredo. <laughs> Looks reasonably creamy there, but a bit thin perhaps. Although that doesn't necessarily mean anything, does it? Uh, let's see. So we got chicken bits. It kind of looks in the picture like they might be a little bit bigger pieces, but they're definitely sort of like shreddy little chicken bits. There we go. And down the hatch. Okay, so let me think here. Noodles are a little mushy. Not terrible, but a little mushy. They didn't hold up too well. Oh, hey, there's a nice big piece of chicken. Sweet. 
the chicken is definitely your standard canned chicken. This kind of tastes like a cross between like a cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup. Actually, you know what? That's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like chicken and noodles and like cream of mushroom soup, maybe with a tiny bit of Parmesan in it. <laughs> Very creamy, uh, definitely, you know, feels like if you ate a bunch of this, it'd be filling, but mm, not exactly what I would call Alfredo, but not bad, you know, for as cheap as it is, not bad. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out the next one. Yeah, up on the tray now, we've got our chicken breast uh, with mashed potatoes and gravy. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, there's gravy everywhere. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's really a great way to do this, but there's our there's our chicken breast, I guess. And here is our mashed potatoes <laughs> and gravy. Good old uh, classic TV dinner. <laughs> classic TV dinner here. Uh, let's try her out. We got uh, a piece of our chicken, some mashed potatoes, whole whole shebang. This is probably gonna burn my mouth real nice, but yeah, it's hot. Okay, so chicken breast is. Again, kind of like our uh, chicken alfredo, it's basically the consistency of canned chicken. It's fine. Um, actually, kind of funny, I just thought of this. So it's chicken breast with rib meat. <laughs> okay. So our mashed potatoes are, you know, kind of your standard sort of like instant mash consistency a little bit of butter flavor you know chickeny gravy it's definitely very it's definitely very cheap tasting because like nowadays you can get like things like the Idahoan brand instant mash and some of their mashed potatoes are actually really good for what they are you know these are definitely you know cheap but again we paid very little for this meal as it is <clears throat> you know whatever 200 and 220 calories whatever in the beginning of the video we saw so you know I don't know this one kinda feels sad to me for some reason <laughs> alright let's let's try and get happy let's do our uh, let's do our last one alright here's our final meal I don't know if it's the best for last or not but we've got the uh, Beef pot roast, so I should have potatoes and little carrots in here as well. Let's go ahead and open her up and see what we got. Looks like there's maybe little onions in there too, or it might be a little potato as well. Okay. So you kind of have a little <laughs> beef piece, lots of gravy. Carrot, potato. Let's try a little carrot potato first. Oh god. It's so hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Kind of salty. Um consistency of the carrots and the potato actually pretty good. Pretty good for what it is. Very salty. A lot of gravy, a lot of salty beef gravy meat just kind of comes apart real easy and uh, has a taste of a you know very boiled pot roast you know um, tastes pretty hearty very meaty I don't know I don't think there's much <clears throat> much I'd complain about this one this was nice pretty hearty you could throw a little hot sauce in it and and then you'd really have a party I guess 
But all the pieces are nice and, and proportionate, so I kind of like that. I know we sort of had a couple of, uh, like, well, the, the Alfredo chicken was really little, and... Huh. I don't know, I think this might be my favorite one out of all of them. Well, anyway, folks, that kind of concludes this. I don't know if, uh... <laughs> video is very helpful or not but I thought we'd do something a little different some more cheap you know backpacking prepping food again this is something that reasonably light ready to eat you just eat it on trail or pack a few of them in your pantry for later um, you know obviously short term but yeah not I mean not bad and if you can find them cheap like I did because like I said I think I got them a, maybe a buck a piece or 99 cents or whatever it's a reasonable meal, you know, if you supplement a few other calories here and there, it's not bad. So, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. Thank you to all the subscribers. You guys are great. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that uh, subscription thing if you button <laughs> if you want to. And make sure to hit the bell because if you don't hit that, you won't get alerts. Or maybe you don't want alerts. I don't know. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed yourself and leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you down the road. See ya!